So the other day I was at work. For those of you who don't know, I only do this part time. Uh, and I'm walking, I work at a college and I'm work, walking across campus and someone kind of grabbed my attention. And the person asked me, do you work here? And I said, yeah, yeah, I work here. And the person asked me if I knew <laughs> where a particular location was in a picture. And she showed me a picture in her DoorDash app of where the DoorDash driver had left her food. So I knew where it was. I, I kind of figured it out. And as we're walking along, we're going along and she says, I told them to leave it at Building A. Now, Building A is right on the corner of two streets. And you would literally have to pull off the road, park, walk up some steps, put it there and take a picture. Building J, where we found the food that had been delivered, was inside the college campus. There's no road to it. So this person had to either park on the street and walk quite a ways into campus, or I, I don't know. I don't know how they got the food there. Um, all of our buildings are locked, so you can't really get into the buildings. So you kind of either a customer has to meet someone outside the building or you just leave it outside the building. But just the idea that you would walk onto campus and put it at a completely different building than the one that was asked to be delivered, which was an easier location to deliver to, just blew my mind. Now, I can understand. Maybe the person's not familiar with the college campus. So then you text or you call and you ask, hey, I'm not familiar with the campus. Where is this? And the person can tell you. Now, I don't know if she missed a text or she missed a phone call. I have no idea. Um, but, I mean, how how hard is it? And, I mean, uh, the more I see stuff like this happening, the more I understand, and I don't think it's justified, but the more I understand why customers don't want to tip drivers before their food is delivered. Because junk like this happens. And on DoorDash, you have to jump through hoops to pull back your tip. So I get it. I get it on their part. Now, I barely do DoorDash deliveries anymore. Um, but it's just junk like this that gives gig workers a bad look and a bad name. Because sometimes the question is justified. How hard can it be to deliver food? And other times people don't realize how difficult it can be to deliver food, especially if you're in a state like I am where it snows and driveways can be icy or maybe you're pulling up on someone's house and they've got 18 dogs in the yard that are trying to eat you. Um, there are circumstances where delivering food can be difficult. But I think for the most part, and I think most delivery drivers out there would agree that it's a fairly easy gig. You go to the restaurant, you get there on time, you pick up the food, you make sure you have the right order, you deliver it on time. And I mean, it's easy money. It's easy money. That doesn't mean that the work can't be hard at times, but for the most part, it's easy money. And someone delivering food to a completely different building that's a quarter of a mile away 
I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Just a thought that I had about this and gig work and does DoorDash need to be vetting drivers more? I mean, DoorDash doesn't care, right? They can hire, fire as many people. I mean, I know they're not hiring. Activate, deactivate as many drivers as they want to. And they're aware of that and they know that. I think there's a market for, now granted, okay, having your food delivered to the front door is already a premium service, in my opinion. It's becoming more expected than it used to be, but it's a premium service now, uh, for now. But maybe they add on. They pick drivers in certain markets who have a good reputation, who have good ratings, good on-time ratings, and they have a premier or a priority option. I've been seeing now, just side note, on, on Uber, um, they have priority pickups. And I get paid a few bucks more because if I take a priority pickup. So maybe DoorDash could do the same thing. Hey, um, this is a priority delivery and it only goes to drivers with a very high rating um, and a very on-time rating. Thoughts? Share them with me down in the comments below. I'd appreciate them. John from Ride Up State, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.